Well, let's understand that the latest inventions in AI, the latest developments in AI, the latest dev developments in deep learning does not take away jobs in the long term. There is a big concern as of now that AI is taking away millions of jobs, which is a fact for the short term. But what's happening now is a shake-up in the evolution of human thought along with the chip, along with the supercomputers. As we understand, our mobile, our computers is an extension of ourselves as of now. It's just outside our body. Everything we do on Earth as of now is based on the chips the central processing unit within your phone, within your television, within your, your computer, within your even your AC systems, lighting also in corporations, corporates. You are one with the chips, which is just outside the body. We are. When I mean by chips is, it's not about the tastiest of chips. Although chips can be tasty, you know. It can also be healthy. In the same way, you need to move with the energies of the earth along with the latest developments in AI technology with the most advanced chips, the CPUs, with its most advanced electronics within it, with millions of capacitors, millions of tiny micro wiring within each chip which is in turn connected to larger cloud systems of deep learning which are again powered by chips supercomputer chips and that kind of ability is available to humans as of now also but to a limited extent but the evolution of AI is to empower humans if it is taken in the right sense, if it is moving along with the energies of the earth, thereby all kinds of mechanisms of control from governments, from people who are within the authority of AI, within large corporations, should enable the AI systems to move with the energies of the universe which sustain the future of the future children of the earth, the future generation, the unborn child, the next 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years, 1000 years, should be an evolution of AI which helps humanity move with the energies of the earth, which helps you breathe as of now, which helps humans breathe as of now. The best quality of oxygen, the most hydration received by the water which can be magnified with the assistance of AI if we move with the energy of the earth the best quality of rain across the world by which we can devise global systems of climate and kind of help the environmental systems bring rain to parched lands to desert areas to areas where there is kind of famine these are all technologies which can be enabled to the process of AI. And when we come back to our basic question is that AI is taking away jobs as we understand as of now. But let's understand that this is just a minute shakeup. If you are with the energies of the earth, if people have lost their jobs, they are also enabled to do things by themselves with the power of AI. AI is in fact empowering individuals move along with the corporations of the earth. If people are being divested of their employment, they have the opportunity to start new ventures by themselves. You can have 50 AI agents working for you, just like a corporate, those kind of Technologies have been enabled as of now, which will advance into the future, but it is your mindset 
which will take you into prosperity along with the earth. If AI is going to be used with the dark energies, there's no future for the future children. There's no future for the earth. Because as we mentioned before, the most advanced of technologies along with the supercomputers cannot be used by any dark systems, dark energies. We should help humanity move with the energies of the earth and we should help people move away from the dark mindset along with the dark energies through therapies which as I mentioned might be just for 15 minutes with the help of AI technologies we would help them connect the neurons with the energies of the earth and when people lose the jobs as of now they are blaming AI and it is a fact that you can blame AI but it's just a minor shake up the same AI technology is empowering the same individual to start something on his own to germinate an idea to go with the creative systems of the universe the one gift from the divine which makes us different from all other species of life is to move with the creative energies of the godly force and AI, AI in itself will enable each individual to move with the creative energies of the godly force through assistance, through creative ideas, helping people manage systems along with other AI apps as we see as of now. And each individual can be enabled to move with the energies of the earth and create new ent entrepreneurship. So people losing jobs have the ability to move into entrepreneurship, generate new ideas for the future of our earth, for the future children, for the future generation, for the unborn child, for everything that we see around us, the oxygen, the water, the rain. As I mentioned before, every universal energy is which sustains life for every human and every being on our earth. Let's replenish our earth. Now there's a big concern about artificial general intelligence AGI now as I mentioned before as we mentioned before we've also termed artificial general intelligence to be an intelligence which is created by man along with the help of supercomputers the chips which enable humans to work along with technologies and by which humans cannot evolve into the future without the help of chips as we know that the phone that we use is guiding us travel is helping us communicate is giving us information the only difference we can make is to move with the energies of the earth along with the technology and artificial general intelligence has arrived and will arrive in its fullness in the next five years it has already arrived to a large extent. Now the only difference, as I said before, is that we move with the creative source of the universe along with artificial general intelligence. Now as we understand that artificial intelligence is a kind of intelligence which learns by itself just like any other human, except that it will learn at a much faster speed pace and every month or year moving into the future artificial intelligence will be have all the capacity of a human in terms of understanding in terms of creating just like how humans create artificial intelligence has its own system of deep learning by which it will learn from different other networks of supercomputers through the experiences of supercomputers and then through millions of times in terms of computational power than a human mind it will create new systems it can also be software it can also be any kind of architecture it can be the best of roads it can be the best of buildings it can be the best of flying systems now when I say it's artificial general intelligence, artificial general intelligence need not be something which is 
other than human. It can be a part of the human force. Because that's the only option. You cannot have artificial intelligence in terms of artificial general intelligence as we call it as of now. I must say that we sh must not call it artificial. You know, once we enable AI systems to work along with humans, with the universal energies which sustain all life, which includes the oxygen that we breathe, the water that we drink. When I go back to the basics, it is this basics which keeps humans alive. So you should enable artificial general intelligence to help humans breathe better because that is the basic foundation of humans. <laughs> if we cannot breathe, you will not survive. So help artificial intelligence create the best of oxygen for us, create the best water systems for us, create the best of seasons to bring rains across the world, to help the oceans move along with the energies of the earth, to bring rain to the parched regions of the earth, to deserted regions of the earth, to the regions which experience famine. Help artificial intelligence move with the creative systems which brings nourishment across the whole of the planet, which helps in climate change. And once we move with the energies of artificial general intelligence as we call it, but as I would say, it will be the general intelligence of the universe, which will help us move with the creative energies of the earth. Once we enable it, we will create the best of future for future generations. The only difference is we must not use artificial general intelligence with the dark energies because there's no future for the future generations or the unborn child or for the energy systems which includes the oxygen if we are going to use it with the dark energy. So the only option is to stop artificial intelligence moving with the dark energy. How do we do that is create systems, create policies by which and also which will be into the future as I mentioned. We will help people with the dark mindset move with the creative energies by helping the neurons to therapy sessions which might be just for 15 minutes move with the creative energies of the universe and once we do that we will help future generations breathe the best quality of oxygen when they move the best quality of seasons environment the best quality of cool breeze might be just into the next 10 20 years when people move out rains at the right time the best of seasons the best of hydrating water systems the best of rivers lakes in terms of keeping it clean healthy and in the right spirit for the human race across the world let's enable artificial general intelligence as we call it move with the general intelligence of the earth which sustains all life Let's move with creative source of the universe, the source code of God, along with all kinds of deep learning knowledge that we gather. The only difference we make, the only difference by which we ensure the future of the future generations is to move with the energies of the earth. Let's replenish our earth.
Thank you.